What what does this mean for you guys to finally win this division? I mean, it's a great accomplishment. I mean, it's, it's a legacy accomplishment. Um, obviously, very disappointed with how we finished the game defensively. I feel like we played a really good first half. Came out in the second half, gave us some big plays. Wasn't making them earn it. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to sit here and be upset or not celebrate winning the division. It's something we haven't done here in like 12 years. So I'm very happy, very excited that we have another opportunity to go into the playoffs. I think we have a home game against the Ravens. So I'm going to be super excited, going to be juiced up this week to get prepared and ready to go beat a, a really good team with Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. Gentry? Yeah, Kevin, you, you guys would have been in the playoffs either way today, but how much do you think it would have taken away from that to not pull this game out and get everything that, that goes with it, the division, the home game, all that? I mean, honestly, I really wasn't even thinking about the fact that we were in the playoffs or anything like that. We wanted to go out there and, you know, accomplish the first goal that we set in this offseason, which is, you know, go win the division and host a playoff game. So i um, definitely happy and proud of our team that we went and did that. Uh, guys came up, made some big plays. Um, I'm just super excited and ecstatic that we won a division. Terry? Kevin, what were the emotions like on the sideline when you see the big completion from Ryan to AJ that sets up the game-winning field goal there and, and then the, the reaction when the kick bounces off and goes through? Well, first, on the big play with AJ, I was, I was kind of shocked because I'm like, really was trying to figure out what coverage they was playing. Uh, but at the end of the day, big plays make big time plays, and uh, big players make big time plays and big time games. I mean, AJ, he's a dog. Uh, and he's our guy. I'm glad that he got over a thousand as well. Um, but the emotions, you know, leading up to the field goal and the doink, I mean, almost gave almost gave me an ulcer on the sidelines. Um, it was pretty intense. But God working mysterious ways, and happy we got the W. Luke. Kevin, you mentioned the change from the first half to the second half defensively. Based on that, what are the what are some of the things you'll be looking to clean up before Baltimore? Same message that I said uh, last week. Everything. Um, like I said, we we gave us too many big plays. Honestly, I feel like at times we were playing really good, stopping the run, and then the second half we start giving up chunk plays. And I think that as a defense. When we give up chunk plays, that's how we look. When we don't give up teams chunk plays, we make them earn everything. I make them keep snapping the ball, keep snapping the ball. Uh, we was getting pressure today. We got a got a few sacks, got a turnover, and money caught a pick. Um, but that's what we had to do as a team. We had to make teams earn everything that they get, not giving them anything, no big plays over top. Jim? K KB, what did you meet Sam Sloman for the first time? And, and you talked about the doink and the celebration. Did you get, any, did get the same thing to him after the game? I mean, honestly, it was a lot of chaos in the locker room celebrating. Um, honestly, uh, when we was doing our um, – in practice, when I seen him doing his kicks and stuff like that, honestly, I didn't know who he was, honestly. Um, not to be funny or anything like that, but I thought it was – I don't know, I thought it was working type of look. I thought it might have been one of the scout team – I mean, not scout, one of our scouts or something like that out there. I didn't know that we had signed a new kicker or whatever. But, I mean, he came up huge today, man. I think he made all his kicks, uh, made the – you know, it, it's crazy because – this guy come from not having a job or whatever. Then he comes in here and make the game winning field goal to put us into the playoffs or make us win a division. I mean, like I said, man, God work in mysterious ways. Honestly, man, it's really uh, happy for him and uh, happy for the team. Adam, KB, you guys need to clean up some things on defense. Obviously, yeah. players often say you get a fresh start when the playoffs begin. But is that real? Can you can you really get really good on one side of the ball within one week just because it's the playoffs? I mean, who knows? I mean, when the playoff starts, anything can happen. I mean, you've seen it with us last year. Uh, it's funny because even at the beginning of the week, I was talking to the guys like last year it was kind of in the same deja vu situation where we lost to the Saints pretty bad and we had to go to Houston and win the game to get in the playoffs. It's kind of the same situation. We lost to Green Bay, had to come here in Houston. And uh, we, I mean, we knew it was going to be a full quarter game. I mean, Deshaun Watson is one of the best, best quarterbacks in the NFL and he was out there wheeling and dealing. But at the end of the day, we end up getting the win, and uh, we, it's pretty much a reset. I mean, it's it's a whole new season. It's 2021, and this is the 2021 Titans. Uh, we started off we started off one to zero in 2021, and we got to go out there and try to find a way to win another game. Joe Rexroad. Yeah, Kevin, I just want to ask you what 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 has it been like um, to to be on this team this year with Derek and Ryan and the things they've done? How much have you enjoyed just watching them and marveled at, at some of their achievements this year? I mean, it's been historic, honestly. Uh, 
I feel like every time they get the ball, uh, I feel like they're going to score, especially once they get the first first down. I'm knowing that I'm telling the guys on the sideline, hey, the offense about to score. We got to go out there and play hard and get the ball back to them so they can keep it rolling. And uh, like I said, it's been very historic I'm watching Derek. Um, I told him in the locker room, man, you're going to be the offensive player of the year. Uh, you're going to be on the Madden cover next year. I mean, he's just a special player. And I mean, Ryan, AJ, Corey, and all those guys uh, is just special, honestly.